The Community Table Restaurant Online Sports Report. Action highlights brought to you by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting Victor Valley teams and athletic programs. The High Desert Mavericks ride Seth Spivey's Grand Slam to a victory over Lancaster. Win number two in High Desert's four-game Heritage Field sweep of the Jetthawks. Mavericks sluggers take full advantage of the hitter-friendly confines of Stater Brothers Stadium, pounding out nine extra base hits in their 12-hit attack. Trip Martin homers and Luke Tindler rips a pair of home runs in the 11-4 triumph. David Ledbetter turns in another very solid start. Eight strikeouts in seven innings. Ledbetter gives up two runs on five hits. David Ledbetter's earned run average is 2.70 upon completion of this, his third start of the year. Two-hole hitter Luke Tendler's stand-up double is the first Mavericks hit, first of three extra base hits this night for Luke Tendler. At game's end, his batting average is a league best 404. Trip Martin's solo homer in the second leaves Heritage Field in a hurry. The line shot over the left field wall. High Desert's first run of the ball game on what will become another Free tacos night for Mavs fans. Jack in the Box coupons for free tacos are handed out every game the Mavericks score nine runs or more. Mike DeLeon sets the plate for the Mavericks next runs, singling in front of the Jethawks left fielder to lead off the bottom of the third. Luke Tindler drives the pitch high, deep, up and over the in-shape health club sign in right field. First home run of the season for the very hot hitting Luke Tindler. The 24-year-old outfielder has given High Desert a 3-1 lead in the third. Mike DeLeon scoring ahead of him. Tindler had 15 home runs last season at Hickory and three in 15 games last season with the Mavericks. David Ledbetter follows with a shutdown 1-2-3 inning in the fourth. Mark Wick, the strikeout victim in this frame. For Luke Tindler, things are going right. He strikes out on the breaking pitch, but winds up on second on the throwing error by Jethawks catcher Richard Gonzalez, a situation we used to describe as stepping in a pile of something very unpleasant, but coming out smelling like a rose. For Jethawks pitcher Trent Thornton, you can't win for losing. Luke Tindler will advance to third on another pitch in the dirt, sliding under the throw but Tindler will be stranded. On this night, one had the feeling leaving base runners in scoring position would come back and bite the Mavericks. Seven are left in scoring position with two out. David Ledbetter ends his night's work with another one, two, three inning, striking out Bobby Boyd to end Lancaster's half of the seventh. High Desert leads three, two. Luke Tindler will make it 4-2 with his second home run. This one deep over the Best Buy Carpet and Tile sign in right center field. You saw that there was a strong wind out to right field last night. Did you really make note of that in batting practice because you got your first two home runs of the year last night? Yeah, in batting practice, it's a lot of fun to sit here and try to hit a couple home runs, see how far you can hit it. But in the game, I mean, it's a totally different story. You're just going up there. You're trying to, you're trying to stay, stay with your up-middle approach, and, uh, you know, if it flies, it flies. Scott Heineman follows Luke Tindler's solo blast with a stand-up double, driving the ball toward the right field corner. But Heineman joins the ranks of Mavericks stranded in scoring position with two outs. End of seven. Mavericks' lead remains 4-2. Lancaster ties it in the eighth. Bottom of eight, 
Travis Demerit breaks the tie with the double off the left field wall. Josh Morgan scores easily. 5-4 High Desert. Travis Demerit will advance to third on Morgan's infield ground out. Scott Heineman enables Travis Demerit to score easily from third. Second of two, Scott Heineman base hits on the night. Sixth run for High Desert. Fans begin to sense a strong possibility of another free Jack in the Box Tacos night. Two runs in in the eighth, but there are two out. Jose Trevino stays down on the pitch and drives it off the shortstop's glove. Scott Heineman scores to make it 7 4. Jairo Barris, who had walked, goes to third. Trip Martin, who had homered earlier, is walked semi intentionally. The bases are loaded for Seth Spivey. It is free tacos on Seth Spivey's swing of the bat. The opposite field home run into the wind, sending it north to the Alaska USA sign in left center field. Jairo Barris, Jose Trevino, Trip Martin scoring ahead of Seth Spivey. Home run number three on the year for Spivey. 11 for the final. Victory number six in a row for the Mavericks. The Community Table Restaurant Online Sports Report. Action highlights brought to you by the Community Table Restaurant in the Holiday Inn in Victorville, supporting Victor Valley teams and athletic programs.